there's an assumption when you're talking about rural economy that it is farming, agriculture, but it's a lot more diverse than that. We're talking about leisure, we're talking about tourism, we're talking about health, we're talking about low carbon, manufacturing, creative, all sorts of different businesses that work in a rural economy. So we see a number of challenges that uh, businesses might face. That includes aspects around uh, connectivity, both in terms of digital and uh, physical uh, transport connectivity, but also in regard to energy uh, and grid access. So I think there are unique challenges for rural businesses. Uh, sometimes it's about being remote. Uh, it can be difficult for transportation. It can be more costly to get goods and services to and from where you are. So there are a whole host of things that we have to think about. One of the issues we're seeing, or one of the challenges for rural businesses, is the geographical spread compared to in urban areas. So it's more difficult for them to raise their voices as a, as a collective unit. What we're trying to do is harness the power of innovation to really address these issues that our rural communities, rural businesses face uh, and uh, effectively tackle those problems uh, head on. So the project is about trying to make rural life better and fundamentally it's about helping people but helping people through the medium of helping businesses to do better. The real aim of the project is, is to help the communities and the businesses to become um, fully engaged, to bring forward innovation and to be successful and viable in the longer term. Having innovation built within a business's DNA really kind of um, solidifies that business as being leading edge. Uh, so by adapting new technology, adapting new processes, it means that they can then uh, use that uh, innovation or power of innovation to then reinvest in their people and their products and, and their uh, communities. The innovation word is, is overused and it does mean different things to different people, but for me it's just you know, it could be a new thing to that particular organisation and it makes a, makes a difference or it could be a new thing to the world. But the main thing is that you're, you're kind of developing, you're moving forward. So you're making a change that, you know, it has a positive effect on people, whether it's a business effect or whether it's a, a social effect. So it's, it's making a difference. No one starts an innovation project wanting to make things worse. The idea with innovation and using design as the, as the methodology is to make stuff better and that's what we're about. We use research methodology, research techniques to really dig into the problem to really find out what's, what is actually going on and what is, what, are the, what is the problem that people and communities and areas are facing. Um, and I think by doing that, by exploring that problem space a little bit more than you potentially would have done, um, it just means it opens up a lot more questions and a lot more ideas and it can really help to solve the actual problem that's going on so you kind of develop a you know, problem statement and work from that to, you know, to actually, this is the thing that we're trying to solve. For me, it's about helping people, about doing good work that is helpful and valuable for, for people. The way we work with the Rural Design Centre is that we have an idea um, and then we share it with them and they help us to develop that idea. They're kind of a critical friend, um, they pose questions for us, they help us think about what it is that we really want to do. They bring creativity to it, um, they bring connections, all their connections that, that they can help us with so that we can really explore the idea and help us to, to make things happen in our community. I think part of the reason we're all involved in this is because we care passionately about this region. We know it's a wonderful place, full of amazing people. So I think anything we can do to help them to do new and interesting and valuable things is, is essential really. So that's why we're all here. And I think the potential for innovation for, for great things is there. And we're just enabling people to, to do it for themselves really. 
So this project will have a long-lasting impact on the region, uh, both in terms of uh, creating new jobs for residents across the, the, the region, but also in regard to creating new products and services through the innovation process. It's important for rural areas to be innovative because the world is changing all the time and for our communities and our businesses to not only survive, we want to thrive and we want to be sustainable, then we've got to innovate and working with the Rural Design Centre is a perfect way to do it.